Today we're playing some more Mega Moimon Fire Red Edition. This is part 3 of a series, so make sure to watch the last one before we start. I started by catching some new Moimon that caught my interest. The first one being Totodile, and the second being Cyndaquil, which I do manage to catch both. Afterwards, I did some level grinding in the grass and managed to evolve Valerie, Rie, and Harmony. And after getting everybody to a good level, I went into the Cerulean Gym, battled the trainers, and then started my battle with Misty. Misty started the battle with her Buizel, but thankfully I decided to have Valerie come out from the start. And though Buizel outsped, I did KO the first Moemon. She decided to bring out her Wingo, and so I brought out Yuki since she had Rock Throw and continued to destroy her. For Misty's ace, she brought out her Starmie, and I misclicked and sent out Harbony instead of Valerie. I wanted to use Double Team to do a cheeky play, but that was quickly turned down by how much damage Starmie did, and I decided to switch out to Yuki to hopefully Thunder Wave the Starmie. But Misty's Starmie defeated Yuki with Bubble Beam. With a clean switch in mind, I went into Valerie in hopes of a KO, but I underestimated the Starmie and Valerie got defeated. I sent out Garns to do some small damage before she got two hit, and then I sent out Rie and defeated the Starmie with Bite after taking a hit from Starmie and finally defeating Misty. After I got the badge from Misty, I decided to get my hands on the old rod, just in case, and then went to a heal before heading north to the Nugget Bridge to confront my rival and fight him. Our rival cast starts off by sending out his Pidgeotto. Knowing this, I had Yuki at the front prior to the fight. I decided to use Icy Wind as Yuki tanks an attack, and Yuki barely KOs the Pidgeotto. Thankfully, Yuki outsped the Pidgeotto in the next turn thanks to Icy Wind, and finally took down the Pidgeotto with Rock Throw. I decided to keep Yuki in as he sent out his Bulbasaur and two shot it with Icy Wind. I then switch into Cottons as he switches to his Rattata and KO it with a Fighting type move, and then switch out to Rie as he sent out his last Moimon Beldum, which continues to be defeated by one bite. After the fight with my Rattle Cavs and healing, I head north and tackle the Mega Bridge, and Amber, the Syndical, finally evolves after a few battles. Once Amber evolved, I had Cottons demolish the rest of the Nugget Bridge trainers, including the Nugget Grunt, at the end. Afterwards, I proceeded into the grass, where I find some of my favorite Moimons, Mudkip and Torchic, and I do proceed to catch them with their hidden abilities. I decided to switch out a few of my Moimons with the two new ones I had caught, and did a bit of level grinding to evolve Sapphire, the Mudkip, and then after that, I headed north to Route 24 to go see Bill. During this trek and finding half of the trainers in that route, Ruby the Torchic finally evolved. After taking down the other half of the trainers, I finally reach Bill's house, where I catch him in the act of him transformed into a furry. He asked me to turn him back into a human, and so I obliged. After getting the SSN ticket as a reward for helping Bill, I head to the new location called Lover's K. There I find a small lighthouse, and inside the lighthouse is the TM Hidden Power. After I leave the lighthouse, I get roasted by some dude with his kit. They say 90% of people find love here, you must be the 10%. <laughs> After that blow to the ego, I fish for a bit to find nothing interesting, and so I start heading back to Cerulean City to heal my Pokemon. I then hear that there is a petty thief in town and decide to confront him, beat him up, and take the stolen item for myself. After taking Dig as my reward, I head south to the underground path and enter Route 6 where I continue to destroy every single trainer in my path before I proceed to Vermilion City where today's journey comes to an end. Or so I thought, but I decided to continue by heading to the SSN. There I went into every single room to fight every single trainer so that I can get as much experience as possible. After defeating every trainer in the cruise ship, I head over to the captain's quarters where Kaz, my rival, stopped me for a battle. Kaz started the match with Noctowl, and since he seems to always start his battles with a flying type, I sent out Yuki just like last time. 
I thought that I had the upper hand in this turn, but Knockdown seems to have had Steel Wing as a move and my Ice type didn't do as much damage as I would have hoped. I then decided to send out Cottons and I used Frustration on the Noctowl two times and defeated it. Kaz then sent out his Adorable for it and I decided to stay in with Cottons since she had Drain Punch which ended for it with two hits. He then sends out Curlia and I send out Rie to KO it with Ice Fang. He sends out his Ace Ivysaur and so I bring out Ruby the Combuskin to try to defeat him as quick as possible. The Ivysaur outsped Ruby and put her to sleep and then in the next turn continued to Leech Seed me. On the third turn, Ruby woke up and used Ember, but the Ivysaur took the hit well. From this point on, it kept on putting me to sleep and draining my HP, defeating Ruby in battle. I sent out Yuki in the hopes of it outspeeding the Ivysaur, but Ivysaur was faster and took down Yuki. I then sent out Cottons and used Quick Attack, but the Ivysaur survived with what looks like 1 HP, and then Ivysaur defeated Cottons. I sent out Harmony and it misses Sleep Powder, allowing Harmony to finally take out the Ivysaur that was giving me a hard time. After that close match with Kaz, I continued into the captain's quarters where he was feeling sick and I decided to give him a rub on the back. Somehow with the magic hands I have, he then feels better and gives me cuts as a reward. With all my business done with the SSN, I head out and watch it depart. After rearranging my team a bit and healing, I then cut the small tree blocking the way to the gym, head inside, take out the trainers, and then I solve the puzzle. After that, I mentally prepare myself for the battle with Lieutenant Surge, but I get demolished. Seeing as I lost to Lieutenant Surge and had a close call with my rival Kaz, I decided to level up the Moemons that would be the best against the gym. I fought every trainer in Route 11 and then just started to level grind on the wild Moemons. After hours of training my most prized Moemons for the gym, I head back into the gym to fight Lieutenant Surge. Knowing Lieutenant Surge started with Emolga first, I send out Yuki to deal with it. Emolga did outspeed Yuki and went for Iron Tails, but thankfully missed giving me a free hit with Ancient Power. Yuki then got paralyzed by Emolga's static ability, which really sucked since Emolga was very close to being defeated. Lieutenant Surge then decided to heal Emolga, which gave me another chance to get a hit on it with Ancient Power, and this time I got a high roll Ancient Power and defeated the Emolga with one shot. He then sent out his Luxio and I sent out Sapphire since she is a ground type and immune to all of its electric moves. Keeping with the Intimidate on Sapphire, I was able to KO the Luxio with Dig. Since he decided to send out his Raichu, I decided it might be best to switch into Cottons to possibly save Sapphire from the last Moemon. Raichu then used Sweet Kiss, which made Cottons hit herself on the first turn, and then on the next turn, used Charge Beam, and Cottons was actually able to use Power Up Punch. Raichu continued to use Charge Beam again in the next turn, taking down Cottons. I decided to send out Yuki in hopes of getting a few hits in before she possibly goes down. Raichu then uses Sweet Kiss on Yuki, but Yuki manages not to hit herself and was able to get an Ancient Power off. Surprisingly, Lieutenant Surge then decides to switch out his Raichu into his Magneton. Yuki managed to get rid of her confusion and used Ancient Power on the switched in Moemon. Unfortunately, Magneton used Magnet Bomb and defeated Yuki. I then sent out Ruby in hopes of outspeeding, but was outsped again and hit with Thunder Wave. Even though Ruby was paralyzed, she managed to deal a bunch of damage with Ember. Magneton then hits Ruby with a Thunderbolt, and after taking some damage, Ruby defeated Magneton with Ember. With no choice but to send out his already damaged Raichu, I kept Ruby in battle. Raichu used Charge Beam, and Ruby barely survived, allowing her to get a Power Up Punch off, but was then defeated next turn with Quick Attack. I sent out Rie hoping that she could outspeed the Raichu, but was gravely mistaken and Rie got KO'd by Charge Beam. I sent out Sapphire since she can tank hits and she can get hit with electric moves. Raichu hits Sapphire with Quick Attack and she takes a hit, but she misses her attack. This was a scary thing since following that turn, Raichu surprises me with Grass Knot and takes out Sapphire. Each of us with our last Moemons in battle, I send out Harmony. Raichu uses Charge Beam, but misses allowing Harmony to defeat it with Confusion and winning me the Thunder Badge. Thanks again for anybody watching the series. The way I started to edit this series in general does take some time since it's new to me, but I am slowly getting used to it. The videos are nice and short, but the gaming sessions are hours long, so make sure to hit that like button since it will help promote these videos so that more eyes can see it. See you guys in the next video.